reporter for Business Week. Um, today's topic is Arla. Arla is a dairy company which has been around for quite a long time, um, actually since 1881, and it has the strongest position in Denmark. Um, in 1881, they uh, was formed by different share owners, and then later on went to become the company we know today. Um, Arla has a wide range of products as well as a wide range of market. Um, today I'm going to talk with the CEO of Arla, the head of marketing and the head of product development. I'm sitting here with the CEO of Arla, Peter Tuborg. Peter, let's start from the beginning. Uh, how did Arla start and where does the name come from? Uh, Arla is a Swedish founded firm actually didn't start in Denmark. It started in Sweden and then made a fusion with a Danish company named MD Foods. And we decided that Arla would be a, a better name because MD Foods and uh, that's rid of a name and Arla has a much better brand. So we decided to remove all the all the MD Foods products and replace them with Arla Foods products. Do you sometimes come up with a new product or do you leave that to your employees? Uh, yes, sometimes. Everybody has something to say. Um, if someone have, from the marketing department has a great idea, we will listen to it. Everyone has the opportunity to uh, come up with a great idea. So if they have a great idea, we are willing to listen. Um, it's important that everyone has something to say, so we listen to all inputs, even from our truck drivers. Truck drivers can have great ideas too. And um, even if it's from the board, everyone, we want uh, everyone to feel welcomed inside Arla. For how long have you been the CEO of Arla, and for how long do you think you'll stay? I have been the CEO for Arla for about nine years. I have really enjoyed my time here, so I can't see why I shouldn't stay for some more years. Arla is the right place for me. I, everything I seek for my working place is at Arla. Um, I see a lot of opportunity in Arla, and I want to be a part of it. One of the things I look forward to is our new strategy for 2017, where we are going to expand our business to foreign markets such as Africa, Russia, and China. I'm really looking forward to see our brand get even stronger than it already is. Sitting here with Uffe Thompson, the head of marketing, and Uffe, which media does Arla use uh, to advertise themselves? Lately, we have had a lot of TV commercials, especially for our organic products, Harmony. We want to promote these products because people tend to care more and more about the organic products, and therefore, we must show the market that these products are in our right product range. What could a commercial contain? We typically like to use families. We want to promote ourselves as a part of every family meal. We want to be the milk for the old meal and the refreshment for the dinner. A commercial could persist of a fresh green field with cows and then a happy family drinking our milk or eating our cheese. Do you use other medias? We use Facebook to connect with our customers. This way, instead of just buying our products, the customers have a chance to help us improve. We think that it's important to keep a dialogue with our customers since they are the reason we exist. Has it paid off for Arla to use the different medias for advertisement? We think that it's important to advertise ourselves in different medias, so we hit as many people as we possibly can. We can see that it has paid off if we look at our increase in the revenue. From 2011 to 2012, we went from 49 million to 55 million. This proves that dialogue with our customers and advertisement through different medias is a good way to do business. How are you going to handle your advertisement in the, the foreign countries? We are aware that the marketing may have to change a bit in the foreign countries. We especially need to approve our advertisement when we are going to execute the strategy of 2017, where we will produce a whole lot more milk for our export markets. We are aware that we have to penetrate the markets even further. We do have some ideas about a possibly new strategy, but we have not drawn a final conclusion yet. I'm here with the head of product development, Søren Jensen. And Søren, what is your newest product? Our newest product is called Snack Cottage Cheese from our food department called Cowley's Køkken. This is a remix of our regular cottage cheese. The snack version includes a top with cranberries and hazelnuts, which you can mix, making it the perfect healthy substitute for people on the go who wish to avoid fast food. How do you think the product will do on the market? This isn't the first snack version of a formal product we have made. 
and all our projects of this category have met success in the past, so we are very confident and optimistic about the future of this product. Can you ensure that your new products get success, and how will you do it? We put a lot of effort into analyzing the market before starting to sell a new product. Of course, we can't ensure that every product will be a success, but we make sure to make many considerations and comparisons with former products before releasing new ones. Do you dump many of the new products you come up with simply because you don't think they'll do okay on the market? The short answer to this is yes. That said, product development is a huge focus in our company, so we spend a lot of time and money always trying to improve our products or make new ones. Also, as said before, if we come to the conclusion through our analysis that the product will be unsuccessful, we don't see any reason to release it, as it won't be anything but, anything but an expense to the company. Good evening, I'm Joe Milner. I'm one of the project leaders of Strategy 2017, and today I'll go in depth with some details about the strategy. Strategy 2017 consists of us wanting to increase our export to foreign markets like Africa, Russia, China and the Middle East. Our ultimate goal is to triple our current revenue. As the milk quota repeals, it allows us to produce a lot more milk and therefore we think that it's necessary to expand the export. We have chosen the Middle East and Africa due to the high birth rates that currently characterizes many of these countries. The population increase will result in a bigger market with which ultimately should result in increased revenue and earnings. We chose China due to the increasing middle class and the huge population. We have already bought shares in the Chinese China Mingnu Dairy which is the leading dairy company in China. This results in us already knowing the Chinese market well and therefore it will be easier for us to sell our own products. We know that our personnel is ready for a task as huge as Strategy 2017 due to many of them having international experience already. Our economy is also good at the moment and it is due to our efficiency on our home market that we have the resources to execute the strategy of 2017. That was it for Business Week tonight. We'll see you again next Monday where we'll sit down and have a conversation with the CEO of LEGO, Ole Kirk Christiansen.